Welcome to today's podcast. I am your host, Nuhu Gaina, and today we're diving into a topic that's essential for everyone, and especially teenagers, and that is discovering your purpose in life and understanding your calling from God. Many of you might be asking, what does God really want to do with my life? I'm telling you, that's one of the most difficult questions I've had to ask, ask that question myself. If that's a question that you've been wrestling with, then you're not alone. And today, we're going to explore this together through scripture, personal reflection, and real life examples. Let's start by clarifying what we mean by purpose and calling. Now, these terms are often used interchangeably, but they actually have some distinct meanings that we're going to look at. Your purpose is the reason you exist. That's your big why. It's it's, it's the goal of your life, basically. So for us as Christians, our ultimate purpose is to glorify God. Everything in our lives, our actions, our decisions, our relationships should revolve around this central idea. Your calling, on the other hand, is how you fulfill that purpose. It's the specific path that God has laid out for you, shaped by your unique strengths, your talents, your gifts, and your circumstances. It's how you live out your purpose in the world. Now, when you understand this, it can bring a lot of clarity and focus in your life. One of the most comforting and assuring passages is Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. I love it so much. It says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and the future. This verse is a powerful reminder that God has a specific plan for you. His plans are not random or vague. They are intentional and filled with purpose. Discovering that plan is crucial to living a life that is fulfilling and meaningful. Take a look at Joseph in the Bible. Joseph had a dream when he was very young. He had a vision from God that hinted at his future purpose. But before he could fulfill that purpose, he faced a lot of trials. He was sold as a slave by his brothers. Can you imagine that? He was falsely accused by Potiphar's wife and he spent years in prison. It would have been easy for Joseph to just lose hope and doubt God's plan for his life. But he chose to remain faithful. He chose to keep trusting God. He chose to keep believing that God had a purpose for his life even though he was going through suffering. And eventually, we saw how Joseph rose to a very great position of authority in Egypt. He became the second to Pharaoh. He was able to save his family and many others during the severe famine. And he fulfilled the dream that God had given him years before. Joseph's story teaches us that our journey to discovering and fulfilling our calling may not be a straightforward or easy road. But God's plan is always at work, even in the darkest times. One key to discovering your calling is to find your joy in God. Psalm 37 verse 4 says, Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. When you delight yourself in God, when you find your greatest satisfaction in him, your desires begin to align with his purpose for you. This doesn't mean life will always be easy or that you won't have struggles. But what this means is that even in difficulties, your hope and contentment will come from your relationship with God. This relationship should shape your decisions and guide you in discovering your calling. Understanding your identity in Christ is also very crucial to you discovering your calling. You're not defined by your achievements, your failures, or what others say about you. Your identity is rooted in God and in what he says about you. You are his child. You are created in his image. You are loved unconditionally by God. When you understand this, you can begin to see how God has uniquely designed you for a specific purpose. And your calling is more than just what you do. It's about who you are in Christ and how you can glorify God in all the aspects of your life. So whether it's in your studies, your friendships, your future career, ask yourself, how can I bring glory to God through this? Your life is like a canvas and each choice you make should reflect God's glory. Next, 
take time to explore your gifts and your passions. God has equipped you with unique talents and interests that are giving you clues to your call. Romans chapter 12 verse 6 to 8 says, We all have different gifts according to the grace that is given to us in Christ. Some of you might be gifted in leadership, teaching, serving others, or creating art. And you may have a passion for science, for sports, or helping those that are in need. Reflect on what you love to do. What are those activities that really bring you alive? bring you to life what causes stir your heart engage in those various experiences now whether you're volunteering whether you're joining a club or taking a, a particular class to discover what you enjoy and where your talents lie don't be afraid to try new things even if they feel outside of your comfort zone each experience can provide huge insight into your calling and lead you closer to understanding god's purpose for your life Another thing is prayer. Prayer is very crucial in this journey. Regularly ask God for guidance and clarity. He wants to reveal his plans for you, but you need to be open to his leading. James 1.5 tells us to ask for wisdom. He says, if any one of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God who gives generously to all without reproach and it will be given to him. This means that God is not just willing but eager to give you the wisdom that you need to discern your calling. However, be patient as you seek God's direction. Sometimes the answers may not come immediately. You might go through seasons where your calling feels unclear or where you're uncertain about your next steps. And in these times, trust that God is working in your life even when you can't see it. God's timing is perfect and he is guiding you according to his plan. It's also very important to stay open to new opportunities. Sometimes God opens doors in unexpected ways, but by willing to step out of your comfort zone and try new things, you would see that this experience can provide insight into your calling and lead you closer to understanding God's purpose for your life. Pursuing your calling is a journey. Don't be afraid to explore different paths and see where God leads you. Sometimes you might take a path that doesn't seem to fit your calling only to discover that God uses that experience to shape you in ways you couldn't have ever imagined. Look at Job, for example. Job's story shows that your calling may not always make sense in the moment, but if you stay open to the opportunities and trust the process, you can achieve something truly remarkable. Don't walk alone in this journey. Share your thoughts, your dreams, and your struggles with trusted mentors, trusted parents, and mature Christians who can guide you. Proverbs 15.22 says, Plans fail for lack of counsel, but with many advisors, they succeed. The wisdom and experience of others can provide valuable perspective and help you discern God's calling for your life. Seek out mentors who would pray with you, offer advice, and challenge you to grow in your faith. Surround yourself with a community of believers who encourage you to pursue God's purpose with, with passion and perseverance. And as we wrap up today, I'd like you to remember that discovering God's purpose for your life is not a one-time thing. It's a journey. It's a lifelong journey. It's not something that you just figure out overnight. And that's okay. What's important is that you keep seeking God, delighting in Him, and being open to the ways that He might lead you. Your ultimate calling is to glorify God in every single thing that you do. As you explore your unique gifts and passions, pray for God's guidance and stay open to the opportunities that God will bring your way. But keep trusting that God has a plan for you, a plan that's good, that is filled with hope and a future. This week, I challenge you to spend time in prayer and reflection, asking God to reveal more of his purpose for your life. Write down any thoughts, desires or dreams that come to your mind. Talk to a mentor, talk to a friend about what you're discovering. Remember 
that this journey is not about just arriving at a destination, but about growing in your relationship with God and becoming more of who he created you to be. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's podcast. If you found today's podcast um, episode very helpful, then be sure to share with someone, with your friend and subscribe for more content like this designed just to help you grow in your faith and discover your ultimate purpose. Until next time, stay blessed and keep pursuing God's calling for your life. Have an incredible week.